Welcome back to today's video. It's your boy Bailey Wise, and we are back. Y'all make sure to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. That's like right down there on your bottom right. Make sure to run that up. 10K on the way soon. I'm hungry. I'm about to make some eggs. Dressed and ready for the day. I'm about to pack up the 250. Ride with some of the homies. It's literally been since like last year. So I've got to take the 250, put it in the back of the Ranger. I'm going to drive to Greenville. I'm bringing the bike content back. Y'all haven't seen bike content. It's been a year. Bring bike content back. Where's the bike content? Hopefully, Jimmy, Jimmy, if you're watching this, you better get your ass at the lot. That boy David, the SE blocks, and all the homies. It's hot again. And the car's down. I gotta figure out, you know, what y'all boys wanna see. Bring out a little bit more entertainment than just me talking and yapping. So I'm about to take the Ranger up to work, take the 250 up to work, load it up, get on the road. We've got like 30, 35 minute drive, and then we'll be there. And I'm gonna throw y'all on the GoPro, throw y'all on my head. Y'all get to see some lot work, see where the boy is on the 250, because I've been like gatekeeping my 250 work, bro, because I haven't rode in a little minute. So I gotta make sure I have my GoPro charge, SD cards. You know, make sure my mic is set, still working. Six, seven, maybe more months since like I've dropped a bike video. So this should be good for y'all. Helmet, glove check. One of one riding pants that like have literally been destroyed, but bro, I can't find pants that actually grip. Like, I don't know how y'all boys do it. Like I can't ride in, but specific pants. I have a couple pants and it's the only ones that I have found that don't make me slide off the back of the seat. Gotta do my hair though. Even though it's about to get messed up, like once it dries, my hair's got nothing going for it. Like it just straight down shooter vibes. And I can't be looking like that. So I'm gonna just mess it up a little bit. That's all your boy does. Like usually I just towel dry my itch, but hey. A lot of people been seeing your boy, a lot of people watching your boy, your boy's gotta start to look good, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I look like a nerd now, but hey, just put a little something in there, get it going, get it going. Your boy's got a nice fit on today too, like, about to give y'all the fit rundown. Here you go, boys, you know what I'm saying? As y'all can see, we got on the back, push it hard, 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 the light, a little Adidas tings down the side, and then y'all know we got the casual boots, the best fucking riding shoes ever. That's how you know I got hella hours in them tings. You can only fit like obviously so much in the living room apartment. We gotta move the Suron up out of the way. Usually this is the bike line I ride and take out because it's easier. I don't make no sound and people don't really get mad. This is like the neighborhood really cheat code bike for like gated residential communities. Like the people don't care. This one's the hassle. We gotta sneak this one in and out just so like your boy doesn't get kicked out of his apartment or something. And your boy got new neighbors, so hopefully they don't come out and hate the dirt bikes because yeah, some people just don't like to see cool teams. You know what I'm saying? Some people just get mad that like I got a 250 in my apartment. Like where's your 250 at? Hey, I know where my 250 is at. My 250 is in the kitchen. Eventually, I am gonna have a crib with a garage, and this won't be a hassle anymore. But for now, we work with what we got, we make ends meet, we do what we do. I'm outgrowing the apartment. So, barn aluminium coming soon. Hopefully, that land gets locked in so your boy has more room, pays less for an apartment because, like, I'm tired of paying these prices for an apartment, and I could have, like, a whole half a million dollar crib for like literally how much I spend. But I'm about to roll this out, the two fifth, little two fifth check. Hopefully she running good. Sneak the two fifth out. This is the part where you either run into a problem like your neighbor comes out and they just stare at you and say no words and you're like, how you doing? Like hit the button counter or nobody's there. Let's get up in this ting, ting, ting. This bitch is a mess. And like reason one why I don't park my whips like up here. 
like for all the people that are like, why do you park your Z in the back of the parking lot in the middle of like five spots? That's because it is like, bro, you get mad door dings. What am I doing with a case of Coronas in here too? I got so much going on in this Ranger and I don't even drink. Like I literally brought those for my boy and didn't even give them to him. She almost got left. Almost got left. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Grab that. Good as new, good as new. All right, cold start on the stranger. <laughs> I told y'all boys, y'all didn't believe me. This thing squeaks like a, like a mug. It's what it does when it gets that cold start. It hasn't been running in a while. It's that old, like, old whip ting, man. But I'm about to bring the Z up, or the Z, bro. That's how you know I'm tripping. I wish it was the Z. I'm about to bring back, I'm about to go drop the Ranger off about work. Put it in my spot, because I got a easy load in and load out spot yeah like literally listen to this thing bro this thing's literally squeaking it's a squeaker it's a squeaker but she does what she does this is literally what she's made for just toting bikes she's a hoagie but she treats your boy good oh reliable things oh reliable man gotta have a ranger probably the best daily ever it's not too bad of an ugly truck and it does your boy good. Well, maybe if I wasn't trying to slide the Z, the Z would still be here too, but y'all know what I mean. Let's load this thing up. Put that bit right there. Look at that. Look at that, literally gonna ride it straight in. Just like that, the cheat codes. How to load up a bike, just find like a little incline. Now, we're about to go back up, get the dirt bike. I'm about to load up the 250, as y'all boys can see right here by the main road and I have like so many people that would just like stop and stare like I'm not supposed to be here but they probably just don't understand but let's load this up ride down the hill do all the ordelians She don't fall we are good i'm gonna strap the bike down and then we're gonna finally be on the way let me move y'all boys so y'all can like actually see but the setup is too well like i literally just ramped straight into the bed of the truck like 300 iq 300 iq but let me strap the bike down so you don't fly nowhere and get back with y'all boys in just another minute yet again Maybe like half a quart low. He's a thirsty little hoe, bro. This thing is ran. Should be straight. The Ranger takes a beating. She gets us to and from. I'm proud of her. I'm gonna show her love once that bag comes in. You gotta fix the Z first, and then the Ranger is gonna be running. Right? All right. Got to give it the one-two shakedown test because the 250 is on the Ranger, but sometimes she like to come loose. Y'all let me know what the Ranger and the 250 combination. If y'all missing the bike content. Let me know if I should make some more. We gotta give it the, you know, the old ordeal. All right, all right. Yeah, that bit got a BBL in the back. That bit jiggling, chat. Yeah, y'all like the bike content? Let me know. We got a 30 minute drive. On the road, bro, I had to stop and get my water because I gotta stay hydrated. Your boy went gallon, little gas station run, gas station run, went cookie dough quest bar. That's for that protein so your boy don't cramp up. And then I went Chex Mix, a nice little quick gas station run. Gotta stay hydrated, stay, you know what I'm saying, so your boy don't like pass out on the bike piece. But on the way to Greenville, I've got like 25 minutes until I get to the lot. And then your boy is gonna hop on the 25th, hop on the bike, you know what I'm saying? And then maybe later on, we might go see the Z. I don't know what this vlog is gonna bring y'all. I'm gonna bring y'all like a whole weekend vlog. So y'all are gonna see everything I do this weekend. So it's probably gonna be a little bit of a longer video. Um, 
unless some shit goes crazy and I might separate it, who knows? It might make this its own video. But I'm hoping the Z is back soon. I know uh, a lot of y'all are probably here wondering about that. All the parts should be in hopefully by like this week coming up, unless they might already be in. And then I've got paint and then after that the Z should be back. So not too much longer. I'm ready for it to be back. I'm ready to stop spending money because the Z's trying to make your boy go broke. But we're going to get through it. Not think too hard about all the money. Mon monetary things can't be replaced and money's not real. And money is attracted to the energy that you give it. So speak positive. Think positive. I know sometimes it's hard and like I'm telling you all this and I've literally been stressing out. But I'm going to be a bigger, better person. Be a role model. Y'all know what I'm saying. Show y'all that it's all going to be okay. Numbers are just numbers on the screen they'll come back but everything did hit your boy at once so from tires on the ranger to wrecking the z and buying wheels for the z and everything just happened all at once so your boy's coming out a lot of at pocket things like your boy probably spent close to like 15 bands in the last like three months shit's crazy but it's all right we're gonna get through it it's gonna happen you know um crib's gonna come blessings are gonna come once things are all hard, you can only go up from here. So I'm truly hoping that everything is just gonna level out soon because I am tired of spending all this money. I'm ready to recuperate from the wheels. And as soon as I start recuperating, I got hit with this, but it's just lessons. You know, if you are going through hard times or times where you're struggling or, you know, everybody's got their own problems and each problems are harder than somebody else's. So I don't want to think that my problems are hard because I'd rather have the problems I have than the problems that I could have. So I'm blessed in that situation and I couldn't, I could just get rid of the car and have no problems at all, but we're going to get through it. We're going to build, only get stronger. You know, you can't have zero problems and have people that want to listen to you. Like you got to struggle, you got to get through it, the people want to see you get through it. So if you are trying to start YouTube, just pick up the camera and vlog, bro. You may be relating to like somebody that may be watching that may be going through similar things so you never know who is listening who is watching so just keep that in mind when you make your videos bro what you may think nobody wants to hear about there may be somebody going through that same thing that may need to hear it and be told that it's going to be all right so y'all be that person be that person for the person that is watching you tell them it's going to be all right you know they don't want to see you give up we got too many people watching us so i'm not going to give up I appreciate all y'all boys. We almost at 4K at the time of recording this. We're owed to 10K, and 10K we're really gonna turn up. It's a big year. So I just wanted to give y'all a little motivational speech while I was driving and let y'all know where I was mentally because I've been trying to just keep it all blunt, keep everything straight up with y'all. Your boy is stressing, but y'all won't know that. Y'all boys aren't gonna know that. I'm working, I'm dolo, working hard, solo creep stepping, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna get through it. Keep a smile on your face. Keep it strong, learn from your lessons, and you know, that's all you can do. That's all you can do. Life is just a game, and it's just testing you. God's not gonna put you through something that you cannot conquer, that you're not strong enough to conquer, strong enough to get through. So at times it's hard to remember that, but you gotta remind yourself. So I'm gonna be that person that reminds y'all boys, like everything's gonna be all right. Like we literally can't be put on here to just fail. Like God's got us, as long as you believe in God, stay prayered up, he's got you. You know, sometimes coming closer to God is when life starts getting hard for your boy. Like, I start praying, start preaching, start trying to get closer to God. And what is he doing? He's making your boy go through hard times where he makes you, like, relay on praying and, you know, try to give up the, the higher spirit and the higher power, trying to put your problems on it. So God's got to show you, like, might take it all away just to make sure you still get close to him. That's what he's got to do. Sometimes you got too much things in the way for him to speak clearly to you. So he wants to get you one-on-one -on -one. if you are going through like times where you're alone or times where you're by yourself or you're wondering why shit's happening all at once, just know he may be just trying to get you to come closer to him and start talking to him more. Remember, if y'all trying to figure out how to get God closer in your life, think of it as like a parent or friend. Sometimes you got to ask him to be in, invite him into the room, invite God, the higher power into the room. You know what I'm saying? Like a homie, like your parents, talk to him, say, hey God, I don't know where to start, but... I need you to listen and everything's gonna be all right sometimes it may feel like he's not there but the times where he may feel like he's not there he may be there the most or you know what I'm saying so let's just keep working through it we got a couple minutes we're gonna get on the bikes we're gonna clear our mind not think about all the hard shit going on 
relief, release our pains, smile, enjoy some of the homies, enjoy the warm weather because it's finally warm. It's like 65 today, so yeah, man. I don't know if that got that. Hopefully that was all pointed on me. I don't even know if the camera was pointed at me, but we don't get through. I'm going to pick up what trouble is on or at the lot, really. Don't be playing, not it. Tazzy got me rock. Girl, you way more rocky. Just real, okay, because I don't like the shop. Kid, look, bitch, you with a star. Hair so good, she could eat ice cream. She'll be going, and you rock. My thing flew off. What you doing? It's good to see you though. We're back. It's warm. How you doing? What you doing, Drew? Oh, unreal. Hey, I guess I'm gonna get back to my bike. I haven't been to the lot so long, I guess them boys forgot about my dumb ass. That boy going stupid on the sir and I ain't gonna lie. What the hell? No. Into a circle? That boy might just be better than me on the sir on already. That was crazy. What was that? You're already too good on that. You gotta stop riding. You gotta stop riding it. You're too good now. I'll be riding this thing every day. <laughs> it's so much fun. If the weather's too shitty for us to ride bikes, we try this. I know that was crazy. I like that combo right there. That shit is crazy. I like that. Jimmy. Boy, what are you doing? It's been like 10 years. Bro. Who is that, bro? You don't even ride no more. Bro, what are you talking about? We're going to talk about I'm not going to bring the Grom out and then bring the Grom out. Bro, the full feet you need a tire and this shit caught. You got to ride the big two fill? Yeah, that's not well if you just hand drag. That's me now. I'm hand dragging. I've been in the, I've been in the lab. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what if I do though? <laughs> no hand, double hand drag. I mean, what? Come on now. I know. We only pop out when it's warm, like you, bros. In the full, I'm actually I'm still in the same shit. I guess. It's about to say. Come on, get on the bike, Jimmy. You've been posting them stories on Instagram like you're outside. Outside. The same, the same clip. <laughs> <laughs> the same phone clip. <laughs> hey, the, the last one looked new though. Bro, I'd be outside and play with this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. That's where all I can ride. I take like two laps and go back in. I just gotta drop a little bit in there. I'd fix the leak, so it'd just be burning though. I, I appreciate it though. Good looks. Appreciate it. You still riding or? All right. I got a couple in my forearms already shot, chat. Drop that thing back. Straight the knee. My boy Oliver. Ah! My for my forearms are already tired. Yeah, I'm <laughs> well, I'm getting old. Let me see your hand drag though. Your hand drag. Alright kid. Jimmy's old bike, bro. Yeah! Yeah! Dang. That boy David too smooth. Yeah! No hands, he won't do it. Boy got too good in like one week of that thing. Look at that boy. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Real e-bike tings, man. See, them shits are just too fun, bro. You can just keep going forever. What the? What the hell? Oh, you won't. You won't. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Yeah! What the? Ah! It's still up. <laughs> That's too good. <laughs> nah, that was good. Every combo already is crazy.
too cold, bro. Dang! Hey! No handbrake tings, bro. God. That boy too cold, bro. My fucking foot would slip off that bit. Boy, too good. What the? Nah. 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 No way. Ah! I like that. Boy, I got tired though, chat. My forearms cannot do this no more, bro. I gotta hit that bathroom practice or something. I gotta hit the lotion bottle and train. Shit, break that forearm back in, chat. I'm about to give y'all a little coasty coasty or some shit right here. Break things though. Woo! Look at him, bro. Jayong. Jayong. Oh my. Andre! Andre! Yeah! Don't be scared. Please. That is activated. Ah! What is this? We got the 30 minute ride in? Unreal. I'm trying to get the 450 right by tomorrow. Oh, that's what you're going to do? Yeah, then I'll pop out the 450. Alright, bet. You coming to the ride? There's a ride? There's a ride, there's a ride. Yeah, I'm about to close the ride. Now, he's got to feel it out. All the time, always popping. Dude, do you still have the rubber? I don't know. It covers the spokes so they don't pinch the tape. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. It, it does that shit I sometimes. Like that, that might be what it is if you can't see anything on the outside of it. It's right. probably what it is. Pinch the tape on the inside. Now we're bikeless. <laughs> Appreciate it though. Yeah. I'm about to load this thing up, I guess. Oh, hoagie. That's why you ride e bikes. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Sand. Unreal. Your boy dying. Crashed the Z. Two fifth got a pop tire. Ranger had to get new tires, bro. They be all hitting, but it's all good. We gonna bounce back. I'm telling y'all, chat. This is that life shit. Life's just trying to throw curveballs at you, see what you can handle. I'm gonna bounce back though, boys. Shit. You're gonna be strong as hell by the end of it, though. I guess it's a good day anyway. We alive, we're all good. Two fifth is down though, boys. Fuck. That sucks though. Cause I was going dumb ski. D up and get up out of here. Hopefully I can load this bitch up by myself, but that's kind of looking like a stroke. I ain't gonna lie. We about to strong arm this bitch hopefully up in here. Somehow, 
maybe not this one don't look as look as easy but look at that your boy been in the gym I ain't gonna lie boy done got swolled on the ass see if I can pick up this boy a big train horn <sighs> Shit, got it. Throw a little bit of nuts in there, boy. Well, I'm gonna load this bike up. I'm gonna get back with y'all, boys, in just a second, bro. Done 250, done popped another tire, boy. The Suron brakes are out right now, so we are bikeless, but we're gonna get both of them fixed hopefully soon, and we'll be back up and running again. Um, yeah, so hopefully, y'all boys like the bikes. I know it's been a super long time, but hey, first ride back, better than crashing, tire popped, we made it home safe, so your boy's about to just be inside like a mother, and that's going to wrap up the whole bike adventure. Hopefully the bikes will be back, the Z's going to be back, everything's going to be back at its own time, or whenever, who knows. We are back in the Ranger. I am now headed to meet that boy Josh and Jacob at Tutti Frutti. I'm about to get some frozen yogurt, so I'm gonna continue this vlog on. Give y'all boys some regular traffic shit, regular day in the life shit. Currently driving, got about a little 20 minute drive to meet up with them. I'm sitting here trying to like clip for Instagram and drive and get all this done, bro. Always constantly working, and that's like the third time I've actually hit the volume button or something, and it's gonna end up popping up on the screen, so. But if y'all boys are new to Instagram and you're trying to figure out how to grow your channels or, you know, grow your pages in like a natural way, just clip up your clip up your YouTube video, screen record it. I'm going to put y'all on at some point. Either it's this video or maybe another video. I'm going to show y'all. I found like a little secret template for um, Instagram Reels. And every time I post, bro, they like every time. And I have a small channel, so like under 5K subs and... Every time I post one of these, it's like 5K views every time. So I'm gonna put y'all on game. But I've been learning a couple things. This is what happens when you sit here and you do something long enough, like y'all's dreams, bro. Y'all gotta do them long enough to figure out what works the best, what doesn't work. That way you um, you can't just jump into something and say it don't work. I'll be showing y'all, I'll be giving y'all free game, bro. I'll be giving y'all free game into this YouTube shit because all the time I've spent I'm able to save y'all time. I'm able to save you time. I'm able to give y'all the cheat codes. If the first one doesn't do how you want it to do, just keep trying, keep posting it, keep figuring it out. You know what I'm saying? Take something that you see from the people you like, figure out how to do it for yourself, figure out how to make people watch what you watch, man. That's the whole cool thing about YouTube. That's the whole thing about how you grow. You gotta be yourself, you know what I'm saying? I know it's easier to follow and kind of do what you see people do and it may be a cheat code and it may work for some but like if you're like me bro it's not gonna work so y'all gotta figure out what's gonna work and so far for me it's literally just being myself it's hard and I know it's a lot harder than it is to do it like it's harder to do it than say it but I promise you if I can do it you can do it I'm scared of literally like I'm people shy bro I got people problems you know what I'm saying I can't record in front of people but I'm working on that you know what I'm saying I'm posting out clips I'm getting made fun of but most of the time the people that make fun of you are the ones not doing what you're gonna do or ever doing what you're gonna do or they're too scared to even do what you're gonna do bro like the whole vlogging and recording in public seems so easy that's why people don't do it but literally it's hard bro you got to spend a lot of time who knows how long figure out how to be yourself so you know what I'm saying figure out what works for you take a couple tips and tricks from everybody that you enjoy to watch no matter what kind of content it is if you're trying to do YouTube if you're trying to do you know maybe not social media maybe like some real life trade school or maybe it's school or you know whatever it is all you got to do is just keep doing it it's not gonna come easy you know if it's school if it's work you know like I've got work experience I've been nine to fiving since I've got out of high school. So like in 2019 until 2024, to this day, I am still working my nine to five. So like I'm having to learn, I, I tint windows. You know, my first day, I didn't know what I was doing. My first six months, I didn't know what I was doing. Then finally, like around a year, you finally figure out what you're doing. And then like another year goes by and then you figure out what you're doing a little bit better. Everything is the same. It's just like 
a grind in a different way, whether it's YouTube, whether it's work, whether it's school. Like school is probably the one of the closest things to like YouTube, bro. You're gonna spend four or five, who knows how many years not making any money besides like from a job or whatnot. And then eventually like YouTube starts trickling in a little bit, but it's obviously not gonna be enough to pay your bills. So just stack it up, keep it going into a savings account. Don't even touch the YouTube bread unless like, I don't know. I, I think everybody should be using a nine to five if they're trying to go YouTube, unless y'all are just already in a situation to grow and not have to worry about that. But for most people like behind this video, because I know a lot of my viewers are probably going through the same thing I am of trying to figure out how to get out of a nine to five or trying to figure out how to start something that they want to start or they're trying to come to me for motivation or you know whoever knows why you're here i know you're here for a reason because it's just belief you know what i'm saying it's me telling y'all what to do and the couple people that actually take it and implement it into their life i get messages all the time of you know people that say i'm helping them i'm motivating them i'm I'm, they're starting to see it's possible bro whenever you start seeing somebody around you start doing something and they actually keep up to it and don't give up bro you start seeing results that's the reason why most people don't see results is because they don't want to give that couple years of time of no attention or you know what I'm saying you got to truly just do stuff and not worry about the money you got to go to school and not think about the money you got to go four or five maybe ten years before you get your job you know what I'm saying and now you're fifty sixty thousand dollars in debt before you even start making your money you got to believe in yourself the same reason y'all believe in school y'all go to school for four eight years four to eight years and believe that y'all are gonna get that job that's gonna be paying when y'all get out but what's crazy is like y'all won't put four or five years into yourself and believe in your hard work and believe it's gonna pay off in the end bro that's probably the realest shit I've ever said you know what I'm saying if that don't make your eyes open bro, I don't know what else will y'all will go spend four years bro in school and not even know if you're gonna graduate, not even know if you're gonna be able to get a college or a job with your degree. Bro, y'all just spend that same amount of time that y'all would spend in time on yourself, dial in, lock in, go home on them lonely nights, you know what I'm saying? That's the difference between school. You're gonna be lonely when you're working for yourself. If you're trying to do big things, you're gonna be lonely. If you're trying to do big things, you know but when you're doing the right thing because you're lonely, bro. You're gonna be by yourself, you know what I'm saying? It's hard at times, you know, not a lot of people are gonna understand it because like the only people that are gonna understand it are the same people making videos like this that are telling y'all the same shit. It's real, there's not that much shit to think about besides just doing it, being by yourself and not giving up. That's the only way you're gonna be anywhere in life, bro. It's just dedicating time to something that y'all want to change. If you want your life to change, bro, you gotta do things out of the ordinary. You know what I'm saying? If everybody's going the same direction, everybody's gonna get the same results that go that direction sometimes you got to take the opposite direction you got to do what everybody's not doing bro and like a lot of people are like we're gonna have nothing but nobody wants to be YouTube or everybody wants to be youtubers everybody wants to be streamers like what makes you think I can do that shit because like everybody's doing it bro not everybody is doing that shit like everybody talks about it because that's what y'all see on the internet it's fooling y'all's mind bro the internet does that bro it's literally just a facade the internet is not real you're only gonna see people's ups you're not gonna see their failures it's like makeup bro for women bro you know what i'm saying like i'm not a misogynistic man but that shit was crazy but like makeup for women bro you can make up things and hide things that you don't want people to see with just a little bit of cover-up that's the same shit with youtube bro most of the people y'all look up to aren't going to show y'all anything besides them winning you know what i'm saying they're going through things they may be going through things they don't speak about bro everybody goes through things and on a different level everybody's got something going on something that keeps them up at night something bro some people got everything in life but can't have a fucking female you know what i'm saying and some people got a female and got to figure everything else out y'all just got to lock in find the people that understand that you still love them you just got to spend a little bit of time at the crib you know what i'm saying there's nothing wrong with locking in because it's going to be worth it why why are y'all so scared of locking in for it? like why are y'all so scared of being alone and spending time towards something y'all want like put time in for it is going to happen it's gonna grow, you're gonna grow, you're gonna go down a path that you didn't even know you were gonna go down and you end up realizing you love that. You know what I'm saying? Never give up, stay inside, bro. Quit going to parties, quit drinking if you don't got everything in the world, bro. There's no reason to be partying and doing things that are taken away from your, you know, what you wanna be in life. There's no reason to be spending time somewhere else while you're young. The time to do it while you're young and when it doesn't matter, when you got time to mess up, when you got time to make mistakes, you know what I'm saying? We're young, bro. We got 
60 years, you know what I'm saying? We got we got no kids. If you got kids, you do it a little bit more strategically. Play your moves a little bit smarter, but everybody's got to do something with their life. Everybody's got something going on, so that don't let your reasons stop you from becoming who you want to be, bro. Literally, don't let nothing stop you from becoming what you want to be. Everybody has, you know, these situations in life. Everybody's got something. Bro, I don't even know how the fuck to get in this place. Everybody's got something in their life. Everybody's got a story about what they're good at, what they're bad at. Everybody's got baggage. Everybody's has bad things happen, but like good movies, bro. You've got rise in action, fall in action, climb, climax. You know, you got all these parts that play in a movie that keep y'all boys entertained. Y'all can't just see the best shit or, you know, like superhero movies. Y'all got a lot of, you know, you see them fail a lot. You see them boys like, you know what I'm saying? You see the boys fail. You know, you see like them struggle, but that's what makes the movie, bro. Y'all would not watch a movie if everything went the way it was supposed to. You know what I mean? Like, if y'all watched a movie and it went exactly how y'all wanted to and it didn't have any problems or the character didn't have anything, you know, happen in their life that made it a struggle, y'all boys would not watch that shit. Like, trust me, but I'm here with them boys up at Tutti Fruity. You can see Josh, you can see the marrow. I'm about to get right, eat me some ice cream, bro. The baby what? wise. Bro, what you doing, Josh? Jacob Grant High. You got civilians walking in, bro. That's what I was Don't saying. Don't cameras out. <laughs> That's what I was saying, and they definitely. <laughs> you gotta say, hey, there's something happening. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> they get hit with the whole breath of ass. They're like, they just walk past Dude, each other. Dude, quit spraying. I'm not. <laughs> they just walk past each other and hit themselves with the, I know. that, though. <laughs> It, I don't all know. I it was all on the wall. <laughs> I was about to say, y'all probably walked past each other and then smelt that yeah. shit and was like, was that y'all? <laughs> and they thought that same thing when y'all yeah, walked past. Like, it's crazy. What's happening back here? That boy got the mirror out. You been vlogging? No. Hey, he is right now, though. Yeah, I ain't right now, though. I had to get it. Well, we got the fresh bumblebee. I haven't even got to put it on the channel, though. The Transformer Bumblebee team, you still liking it or what? Don't be fucking shitting on my truck. I'm not, bro. <laughs> bro. Hands is free. Hey, hand. Hey, hey, bro, put it on my. Did you take that? <laughs> <laughs> shit, <still laughs> <your phone? laughs> my Look. shit. Alright, this is better than pepper spray. Because then you're going to go home smelling like shit. I'm saying. Hey, don't get caught up in public. We might spray all them ass. Ain't that right? You. You. Them clouds look good. Give y'all. Yeah. We can't even reach the thing, Dicky. Fifty dollars. How are we gonna reach it? It's halfway up the pole. Hundred dollars. I will climb. I will fucking hang. Man, no, no. Man, I got a, I got a hundred dollar bill. Hundred dollars. I will climb that fucking sign. You know how bad I need bread right now. Hey, bro, we'll do anything. Let's walk over and see if you can even reach it. Though. Well, go back and work it. Bro, you can't even reach that thing, Josh. You don't got bro doing up. something. Man, I told you the camera. That bitch. Oh yeah, we got a ranger too. You don't even got to go that far. Bro, going to climb the Chick Fil A pole. One hundred percent. You probably pull on it, and it would probably slide all the way down, bro. It's like natural selection shit. <laughs> this is natural selection, bro. See what I'm saying? I'm saying. A natural selection is a bitch. That would be how you couldn't even get up there though. No, I'm saying you get up there and what? <clears throat> what do you go through that small ass little yeah, crack up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you go to this right here. Is that how they do that? That's really like a four foot gap. You just it'll look small for you. Nah, cause what's happening over there? See, there's like a ladder ting right there. That's what I'm That's saying. You might pull on that and it might like fucking. No, this one's connected. Right you can see. You what? You gotta come back this way anyway. I'm just doing my own thing. Just gonna hop in the Ranger. Cry. Right. Do what? Make a video with you. What you want me to get in? I mean, I'll get in the back. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'll get in the back. I mean, I haven't been in a car since I've wrecked mine, so I mean, I'll take a I'll take a ride while I can. Hopefully, she don't tow my dumbass. Hopefully, she don't tow my ass. Hey, we hopping in the transformer team. Back in the Camaro, like three weeks later. Back in the Camaros. You know, hopefully our our lady don't tow my whip though. 
That'd be crazy. Doing big things. Oh, I got to buy y'all boys. Don't buy a red one. Red ones. I don't know. I'm two for two on the red. <laughs> two for two on the red, chat. That's why I got to wrap it. I got to switch up the colors or something. But I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say red's bad luck because we gotta get it back, and it's gonna be red still. So. I gotta keep all that good luck on me. Red is actually the safest, bestest color Camaro you can actually buy. Is it the safest? I think so. I mean, my shit pretty bright. They gotta see me. You saying? Red, y'all know if y'all got red cars, that insurance being bullshitting on the red. I might, I might know why though. You see what happens? So red makes you act up, chap. About to head to Walmart though. Jacob thinks he's gonna fart spray some people. It's about to be silly willy. Are we in the transformer yeah. team in the supercharged SS? Back in a Camaro, first time back in a car that's not the Ranger in almost a month now. Hey, you know, it ain't, it ain't really cold no more. Do what? It ain't really cold no more. I know. I gotta pop back out for summertime. Unreal. Boy, what you trying to do over here, bro? Do, I hear, bro? I hear the thing going. What you mean you hear what? I hear you trying to go crazy, bro. Got the traction off and all that. <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro, what are you doing over here? <laughs> bro, went straight to, you know what I'm saying, man. <laughs> Gosh, it's crazy. It's a Tesla. You been getting better at the drive abilities? Yeah. Slowly but surely. I still ain't put it to the floor. Uh, nah, I feel drive, like whenever I get on it, I'll turn the traction off and everything. Tight. You still rocking with it? You like that shit? Yeah. Tight. Look at this chef. Hey, y'all hear that supercharger boy? That might be the first time, like, not the first time I've heard it whine, but that loud. Because <laughs> that first time I didn't really. That, it was. It's still new, new though. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. still so new to me. That's what I'm saying. It's bro's first crazy whip, and bro went supercharged off the rip. Not a lot of people go supercharger first with that boy Josh. That boy got that Henny Pack, baby. Not gonna lie, I'm liking it though. See, thinking, cause I got a warranty, you know? Mm -hmm. Whenever my warranty goes out, I don't know if I wanna keep it and just like build the fuck out of it or if I wanna sell it and get something else. What would you get though? Can you turn the heat on? What um? What I get? What would you get if you sold this team? Um, you know I gotta go better. You know. That's what I'm to. saying. I don't know, like <clears throat> ZR1 would be fine. ZR1? ZR1? ZR1 would be stupid. Z6. Um, yeah, that shit would be crazy. I don't know. I can't really go slow, so I don't think I gotta go ZR1. You know, I really, really, really like them. You pretty much have that right now, though. Type yeah. shit. It's got. I think it's just got like 50 more horsepower or something. Like yeah, you can just slap like literally anything on this car and it'll make 50 more horsepower though. You said what? I said you can literally slap anything on this car and probably make 50 more horsepower. Like an exhaust, not an exhaust, but like headers in another tune, exhaust. Like if you were trying to get 50 more horsepower. I mean, like, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like I already got 50 more than the ZL1. Or the ZL1, yeah. yeah. That's right. I thought you like, said the ZL1 had, had 50 more. Uh, I was about to yours say. Has, like, Yours has 50 more, I think. Like 50 miles. I shit on zero mode right now, though. Coming back soon. RIP to Zeski. Uh, I don't know. I was looking at GT500 before I got this. I don't know if I would want to go that way. I don't know. I might, I might enjoy this while I got it. I ain't even gonna think it, about it's it. really only been like two months. Yeah. We're not talking about selling it yet. We're not sure. No, yeah, Troy, if you are Troy, watching it, bro, keep Troy, your car more than a month. Troy already got his Porsche up or something? I know, hey, bro. Does he? Yes. I didn't see it. I was sitting on the toilet last night. First thing that popped up, Turbo S for sale. Guess whose it is? Why, bro? Like, bro, like, quit being weird, Troy. You may not wake up tomorrow. Bro, gonna trade us his life away, bro. Enjoy it. I thought he was gonna keep the GTR for a while. That thing was clean. Bro, yeah, the GTR was OD. I'm not gonna lie, I like that car. It was different. One of one, like, yeah. that was fully, like. That was everything. Yeah, body kit, like, everything touched on like, that car. If you bro. like GTRs, that's a dream car for you. Right, that's like, 
I, I couldn't. I don't know if I could sell that shit. That would be a hard car to sell. And I'm not even like a big GTR fan, but like that the way that one was, I've never seen no nothing like that in person. Take the lens out, boy. Oh, she just walked. <laughs> I just walked through that. She fucking did. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> she walked straight through that shit. <laughs> Why do you think I cut to the right? Did you get it? <laughs> it's like straight rip. Yeah. yeah, we coming through trim. Straight shitting on people. You know what I'm saying? Nah, not the same one. That's crazy. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna... Hold on. <laughs> Literally carrying this big tuba ski around. <laughs> You're about to go through the whole bottle on the oh, fucking... 100%. Oh, yeah, definitely. Bro, how do I hide this tuba, bro? You, don't... you just walk around with it like... Yeah. That's what I'm uh, saying. I don't know. We gotta like go this way. Oh my god! <laughs> Someone shitted, boy. What the? F it smelled like straight doo doo tip everywhere. Like <laughs> everywhere, bro. Shit. My first time really going camera in public, so y'all boys bear with me. You know, if I'm selling the camera angles, I'm really working on myself. I told y'all, boys, like, wrecking the Z might have been my best thing to be able to do. Done wrecked the Z and, like, I got no fear no more. I'm saying. What you on, big guy? Y'all getting car stuff? Yeah. Dude, I used this in my car today. <laughs> no, bro. <boys. laughs> he said, he said. <laughs> <laughs> I used this in my car today. That shit was good as fuck. Yeah, $169, buddy. What is that? $169. That's actually cool. Yeah, look at the price tag. I know, it's 170 Hey, that's only that's a it. couple, what's it called? Uh, that's a couple door dashes. Actually, I might get that right now. No, I'm just fucking <laughs> <shopping. laughs> Hey, I if y'all like, comment, and subscribe, we might come back and buy them all. No, I, I want the... I the like Indiana the, Jones thing? I like the ones that, uh, Put it on the credit Lobby. card. Yeah. I like the ones at Hobby Lobby. Bro, we're gonna spray that thing on me. <laughs> actually? <laughs> yes, you no. have been, bro. You literally, you literally have been, like... That's what I'm saying. Hold on. You gotta hit it like... You gotta hit it like... I did let out a real one. I can walk. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You gotta, like, hit it like... Someone walking towards you. It was a little... Poof, a little and cloud. They walk through. Oh, no, that's the... Dude, the that's whole, diabolic. That is. The whole walkthrough is What's Easter? Bro, I think it's coming up. What? When is Easter? The end of the month. Hold on. Like this month? Let's go this way, dude. Oh, that's the end of this month, yeah. Going this way, boys. It's Easter ting. Look at all this shit. Shout out that. Easter tings? By the time y'all see this, it might be Halloween or some shit. I'm fucking trying. It might be Halloween or some shit by the time they see this vlog. And I'm trying not to get seen by the mob. One more. Do what? That's what, I'm like That's what I'm saying, but I'm just gonna say, I use it for like insurance purposes, though, in case like I get robbed or something. Yeah. Or if I get if I get like robbed you're or something, it's on camera. So your your PO I has literally. to see this at all times. You have to That's what I'm saying. Like if if I don't turn this in, the PO officer might arrest me at any time. This one? I said, ooh, ooh, ooh. 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 That boy hitting them, hitting them, hitting them, hitting them. Yeah, hitting that was them. a nuke. That was, that was a nuke, bro. I am not going to lie. That was... my hand. That was... Bro, we, we got call-outs coming. We got call-outs coming. The worker just walked on here. I'd say it'd be smelling like straight spoodoo doo And we just <laughs> been... Sight, <laughs> Is he really? <laughs> you got to hit it right here. Sam? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is where it, where it be working at. What are you doing? What are you doing? What do you got going on? 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 What Bro, he be playing with us. Not gonna lie with y'all though. I'm about to try to find something to get for y'all boys in the Wally world. That boy looking for it. books. What you got? Powder. Bro, is it on me, bro? Do I just smell like straight seat? 
<laughs> you hear the gag recoil, bro? They're so giant. We smell like straight seep in here, cut. <laughs> Do what? For sure. What you gotta tell them? Something motivational. Something motivational, though. Tell them. Oh, ah, ah. Yeah. <laughs> Walmart with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do what? what was he saying? Hey, we getting straight booty doo. I know what I'm saying. Know. Do what? What you talking about? It just happens we got a camera and people shaking. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> what you talking about? What spray? Bro, what spray, bro? Hey, it just happens I got a camera and it smells like doo doo around here. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> it do, though, huh? <laughs> it do smell like straight stinker. It smell like dookie, huh? Yeah, I, think they, I think they had a pipe bus or some shit. Like a sewage line I'm or something? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm saying. We are? No, I don't know. What's happening? <laughs> do what? Let's do it. Where are we going? Y'all go over the top. I'll go over this one. All right. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Oh, no. All right. You. Hey, we got a lot happening. We about to disappear on three, though. Three. All right, three. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I gotta go get me a Lego set. Oh my right god. Now. We gonna go this way. Me and Jacob are splitting. <laughs> what you mean? It's okay. I don't need Nobody's out to get y'all. No. No, I mean I don't care. What are they gonna do? It is kind of convenient. Vlogging. You got a camera. <laughs> yeah. This is my first time really recording in public, though, like this. this is, I gotta this, lie. Is, this is the shit we need to be doing the prank shit. That's what I'm saying. I do not. What? <laughs> bro, we're literally just trying to spread. I said, tell me something motivational, and this bitch just started shaking Dookie. <laughs> straight Dookie, bro. Just straight Dookie <laughs> himself. What? 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 That scream. It's not like shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, be seeping on himself in his own pocket. Y'all smell that too? I'm saying. Y'all smell that too? No. It's, it's not like Dookie. Nah, we smelled that and we ran. That's what I'm saying. That's it, look. Really? Yeah. What, for pooping? I guess. I don't even know who the police are. Adelaide. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that shit crazy. How you gonna leave your phone? Hey, yeah, don't leave your phone like that ever again. Or it's up. Or it's up. Hey. Huh? She said she be calling them. She be calling them. She be calling them, but she don't do nothing. Do oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Bro, what the... <laughs> Hey, they said look for a purple hoodie. Hey, we got the jumbo humorons up here, bro. Hey, they done pulled up too quick, huh? Oh, is that on me? Nah, that's on you, bro. It's on you. What you got to say, hey, bro? Hey, we got to run up here and get a picture. I don't even know who the police are. Like, there they go. <laughs> oh, hell no. Hey, hey, that's why I said they pulled up quick. What the fuck? You can't be doing that, shit that's, like that. That was because of you. Hey, I'm snitching. I got you on camera. You snitching? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I got three of them though. <laughs> she said, can you duck a switch? Like, how are you gonna say that? And I'm recording right now. I just got, what's it called? Assaulted on camera. You heard that? I got assaulted on camera chat. But yeah, apparently they said they call him the Poe, but I don't know what they are talking about. Poe done outside. Shit crazy. crazy. We done escaped. I don't know what they be talking about. You know what they talking about? No, we were just customers. I'm just sitting here recording, and they're just gonna say like, "I was just oh, trying to get vitamins." For you're recording. They're gonna go put us in jail for your, like shitting in public. Probably not. Can't do it. First public prank gone wrong. Like, come <laughs> on, cuh. I don't think it went wrong. <laughs> it literally went right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. Hey, Josh, what you gotta say, cuh? Yeah, they attention. Trying to get me a fast picture. I'm saying, got they kicked out of Wally World. We aren't here for us. Yeah, it just happens that they're here, yeah, exactly. and everybody's saying yeah, they're on the it's way. So much funny. Hey, 12, literally, I'm going to hit him with, like, the... <laughs> <laughs> hey, does. hey, bro. The what you got to say, Josh? Bro. Look at that. Hey, we outside. We done got arrested and shit, bro. Hold on. We hold this so I can get my, my thumbnail, though. Be like, be like, free me, bro. <laughs> free me. Like... <laughs> got kicked out. Bro. That ain't even on you. What do you mean? Good seeing you, bro. Good to see you. Be safe. Be safe. We heading out, chat. No boy's happening with Josh. Tell him he's a good man in the comments. 
All right, Natalie, I'm gonna fuck with you. Have a good night. Me too. Safe. Yes, sir. Get that, get that mirror back together. You said what? Just like get that mirror back together. I know, mirror coming back soon, real soon too, chat. In the Z ting, all the boys riding Z tings. But now we back in the Ranger chat. I'm about to give y'all the coldest start. Bro, how did I almost film my first prank in Walmart and almost go to jail for that? Crazy ass. Yeah. That was the craziest Walmart sesh I've ever been in. First time ever like recording in public like that. And yeah, that shit was a banger, bro. Shorty, if you're watching though, like I literally, that girl just turned up on camera for no reason. But I don't even know. But yeah, man, Walmart prank gone successful, bro. The real viewers are gonna know because this is like at the vid, the end of my bike vlog. Craziest, goofiest time. But that shit was a banger, bro. I don't know what I got myself into, but let me know if I should do some more of those because, yeah, your boy trying to break his comfortability and, yeah, yeah as y'all saw, bro, the mind is the only thing stopping you from becoming who you want to become and achieving what you want to achieve. Hi, man. Well, if y'all like this banger of a video, I'm probably gonna add all this in one from riding my bike to going to Walmart, bro. That's just what you get if you're a real OG fan and you watch the end of these videos, bro. Let me know down below in the comments what part of today's video was your favorite. If I should add more bike vlogs, if y'all wanna see some of that, come back to the channel. Or if y'all wanna see like some more pranks or some shit. I don't even know, I'm not even a prank kind of person, so that shit's kinda crazy that I did that for y'all boys. But if y'all are just here rocking with whatever I produce, y'all the real ones, man. Let me know down below if you did make it to the end of the view. Drop like a, drop an owl emoji, bro. Drop an owl emoji in the comments if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Because you are a real one, brothers. I appreciate all y'all boys. Road to 10K. I'm going to rock with all y'all boys in the next, man. Peenie niece, and don't forget to believe in yourself.